Hi, my name is Rollin Morris, and I'm a solutions engineer with Okta. Today, I want to talk to you about workflows, and in particular, how you can send SMS messages to Twilio from within your workflow. Why would you want to do this? Well, Okta has a number of connectors to send messages to, for example, Slack. If I wanted to send a Slack message, I can send an email message via Gmail connectors or the Office 365 connector. But what if I want to send an SMS message? What we're going to do is leverage the Twilio service and use the REST API calls uh, that Twilio offers. And from within workflows, we'll make a uh, HTTP call over to the Twilio to send our message. So let's see how this works. If you've imported the flow, uh, the flow pack, you should now see there's, there's one flow available to you. And we'll go into that. You're going to need a Twilio account. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. I just created a trial Twilio account for this example, but there's three pieces of information you need from the dashboard. One is the trial number. Second is the account SID. And then finally, you need the auth token. Let me switch back over to workflows and show you where you'll use those. So before going into the workflow, I do need to set up a connection that will be used for authentication to Twilio. To do that, I'm gonna click on settings, say new connection, and I'll scroll to HTTP. What we're gonna be doing here is creating a basic auth uh, uh, authentication using basic auth, and then we'll, um, we'll use that from within the workflow. So I'll just call this HTTP Twilio, and I'm gonna choose the auth type as basic. And then for the username, this is where you're going to paste in the account SID from your Twilio dashboard. And then for the password, this is where you would put in your auth token. So those two pieces of information will go in here. I've created already in here, so I'm going to hit cancel, but you would hit create so that it will be usable. Once when that's created, you'll see it referenced here. And then I'm going to switch back over to the flow. So this is the flow right after I've imported it. I'll click on it. And I wanna scroll all the way to the end over to the HTTP card and I'll select the auth, uh, the connection type, and I'll select the HTTP Twilio connection that I just created and that's it. So that's ready to go. Let me tell you a little bit about the flow and how it works. So this is a child flow and it's meant to be called from uh, a larger process that says maybe where, um, what phone number are we going to be SMSing to and what message do we need to put in there? So it's meant to be called as a child flow and you would simply call it by using the uh, flow control called child flow. There's four pieces, of, as a, four, four pieces of information that need to be passed into it. Uh, one of them is the phone number that you're gonna send the SMS message to. The second is, what is the message that you want to appear in the SMS? Third is the account SID. And again, this comes from the dashboard. And finally, the from phone number. And this also comes from the Twilio dashboard. The rest of these cards are really about constructing the components that's needed to make this HTTP call at the very end here. So let's just go through them real quickly. This is an object card, and I'm using it to construct the header. There's two headers that we're looking for is accept and the content type. The accept is set as application JSON and the content type is form URL encoded. And this is just the way that Twilio is expecting their HTTP posts to look like. Uh, it, it's supposed to look like a form posting. So we're gonna use those um, content types. The next thing is the body of the HTTP call, what goes into here. And you'll see I'm using a compose card here, which is really a way to concatenate different strings together. So the two equals uh, is static and the body equals is static and from equals static. These blue labels, if I hover over them, they're actually the values that have been passed in from the, child, uh, from the calling of the child flow. So the two phone number will be inserted here and concatenated in the string. The message will be concatenated into the string here and the from phone number will go here. And then that will all be stored here and I can reference that over in the HTTP call. 
The next piece is the compose card for the URL. And again, I'm, I'm building out a string here, and this is the format that Twilio expects the URLs to be composed in. The account SID is actually part of the URL. So you can see that I have the, the URL here as static, and then if I hover over account SID, it's actually referencing the SID that's being passed in. So they'll dynamically create this uh, URL for me and store it down here. So that's the, the URL, the headers, and the body, and that's the components that's needed for an HTTP post card. So again, the basic auth authentication has been provided through our settings when we created the connection. So that will be there. The URL is being uh, passed from the composed card. The headers is being passed from that object create, and the body was created from this other uh, composed card. So we'll see the response from uh, Twilio down here uh, when we run it. So let's save it. And then the last step is I'm going to turn it on. And I'll hit test here just so that we can run through the whole uh, child flow. So the two phone number that I'm going to send, I'll paste in here. I'll provide a message. I'm going to use the account SID from the uh, Twilio dashboard. And finally, the from number that also comes from the Twilio dashboard. OK, so the four parameters, and I'll hit Run Test. And so this is in the flow history, and we can actually view this as the data pass through. So each one of these cards shows the creation of the uh, object, the uh, uh, creation of the concatenated string using the two composed cards. And then this was the HTTP post. And if I scroll all the way down, I can see that I got a status code 201 back on the response from the HTTP post, which is a successful, um, a successful return code. And then I'm looking, I also got the, a successful SMS message sent. So really, that's all that's needed. Uh, hopefully, you find this helpful. Thank you.